Okay, so now we are going to do the soft case version of uh, the lace case binding. And soft case version is a little easier. I'm going to use this poster, this photographic poster. And you have your text block. I've got this dinky on. And you have your laces that's going to lace through. And so you place your, first you do is you find your height. So you place your book block onto your material like this. And you can use a ruler or not use a ruler if you'd like. Um, and you just mark the height that you want. So a little higher here than the text block and a little higher there and using those marks you choose what's going to be your outside and this is going to be my outside and also this is going to be up and this is going to be down so okay and you check and you fold by your mark and the way to make sure that the fold is straight all the way through is to make sure that you fold it edge to edge here. And if you do that, it's just going to come out straight by itself. And then you may do the same thing here at the bottom. And if your fold-ins, if they overlap in here, that's no worries. You can just leave it like that or you can trim them to, to meet. And they can fold in shorter as well. Like if you don't have as much as an edge, you can have a shorter edge like that as well. That works too. Okay. And you place your book block on your material again and it sort of helps if you find you can find the middle like that so you know where the middle is and you can put spine kind of there towards the middle and then you know about how much material you're gonna need so then you mark there And you can use a ruler to help this fold be sharp. And again, if you match the edges, you get the straight fold there. So you place your text block here in your material. The fold. Fold out like this, and then you fold again. And if you want a sharp fold, you can use a ruler like that under the edge. There and just make sure that's pretty secure. So again, you fold, you match up edge to edge there, and that's gonna come out straight in the end. That's your fold.
yet. And that's the second one. Great. And then you're here. And you can either just fold or you can make, so you can either just fold straight away or you can make a mark like that and fold in the other edge. And you match your edges and you match your fold like that. So here's your cover, here's your textbook, there you are, and then we're going to make the, the lacings. So what you have here, you have the two joints here, that's like your foot, that your makes your cover, and we're going to cut slits here in the joint, and then we're going to cut a slit on the cover and we're going to lace through um, the sewing support. So you get your book, you match up your sides, you check that you are correct, which side is up, which side is down, all of that. Check that you're happy with your placements, like so, like so, like so. And you can open up your book. Like that. And then you make your marks for your sewing tapes. So you make a mark on each side of the sewing tape. Okay, and other side. Other side. There. There. Okay. And then the second slit that we're going to cut is going to come through. So the first one's going to come through the joint. The second one's going to come through a little bit up on the cover. I usually mark five mils, but if you want a kind of a larger, if you want your tapes to be visible for a larger part of the cover, you can mark them up there or here. So uh, you can decide a little where you want them. I find the easiest way is to put the ruler straight up to the fold, like that. Mark five millimeters on either side of the spine, like that. And then mark five millimeters there. And use the ruler to just draw a line. Then you have your markings. Um, the spine fold is here and five mil up on the cover. 
and you get your scalpel and first you cut into the fold for the spine you want to make sure you're on the on the fold and that you're cutting in between your two markings there And then on the fold here again, in between your marks, there. And the handy thing is that if you have a fold in that's so large that you get your cutting, so that you cut here, means that it will stay folded in, it won't kind of flap out when the book is laced in. And then you cut your second marks. So you should have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight marks. Okay. All right, so you've done that. You have your cover, you have your text block, place it inside. You it helps I find to cut the tops of the text the sewing support just to make them a little pointy. And you go first through the slit you cut on the spine fold there. It's going to be a bit tricky. First ones through like that. Do the second side. Cut them off, make it a bit pointy. You can kind of jiggle your text block however you need to jiggle it to get it to work out. And be careful that you don't tear through anything. Because that can happen. There you go, see, so it's like that now. Got them sticking out and we're just gonna lace them back into the cover. So I'm just pushing them in and back. And again here, and you push them in. So like that. 
you see so push them back and you can pull them from the inside of the cover again be careful so that you don't tear anything oh yeah see I tore that yeah but we can fix that it's okay Okay, so release that one through. Release that one through. Okay, make sure it's wide enough as well when you do it. So. Yeah, and I'm using a pen here just so that I can get them to kind of come around because I find that it's easier to not tear if I do that. So, yeah, I'm just using the pen here to like soften it basically so that it becomes a bit easier to work that through. There you are. Excellent. And I'm going to show you also if you've torn through like I have here, how you can fix that.